So as a little addendum to uh, the electric bike story, remember this? This is the uh, Sunco 788H battery tab welder. The first time I powered it on, it just blew my fuses. Had a look inside, tried to figure out if there was something actually wrong with it, but my end conclusion was no, there's not something wrong with it. Uh, it just requires like a higher amperage fuse or something that the transformer inside was drawing, simply drawing too much current. And that tripped my breakers because I have automatic breakers. I think uh, a couple of people hinted on uh, the video that uh, it might be made for like 35 amp or 25 amp uh, slow blow fuses like uh, ceramic fuses instead of automatic fuses. But yesterday I uh, was at the hackerspace and I decided uh, because with the electric bike I would like to rebuild the battery uh, to a lithium ion battery and like to do some other things that it, it would just be better if I would have a battery tap welder so I can make battery packs. So I thought let's try to fix this thing and I succeeded. So for anyone who has uh, this or is, is thinking of buying this tap welder, uh, here is how to fix it, how to make it work on a lower amp fuse. So here is it with the cap off. Uh, I'm not going to go over the internals again. Uh, if you want to know how this works and how it looked originally, I'd like to refer you to my previous video about this battery tab baller. But as you can see, what I did is I replaced the transformer. Very simple. Um, actually, uh, another uh, Hackerspace member had this transformer just lying around for this exact purpose. What this is, is a microwave transformer. So the, uh, the primary is um, still the same as it was when it was a microwave transformer. And the secondary is just this very thick rubberized wire from a uh, ground cable, like that you put into the ground, not for grounding stuff. Uh, made a couple new holes in the bottom to uh, mount it and then just uh, replaced it, wired it up exactly the same as it was. And now it works because this transformer, obviously this transformer is for the Dutch market. So it's made to uh, not to trip your 16 amp breaker. And uh, that's, that's it pretty much. Now, another thing that I did uh, is here, you can't really see it very well from here, but I'll turn it around and you can see there's now an IEC C18 socket here. And uh, previously, uh, this had a fixed wire. I don't really like fixed wires, but obviously they did this because this is only officially rated up to 16 amps. You cannot make equipment that draws more than 16 amps and outfit it with this socket because the cables are like the cables are interchangeable and you can, you only get 16 amp cables. That's a very worthwhile improvement. Otherwise, it's just the transformer and uh, the IEC socket. So, and then some more specifics for people who actually want to do this. Uh, this has three secondary windings on exactly 190 primary windings. So if you want to repeat this, that's how it works. Uh, another way to check is that uh, if you just plug in the transformer unloaded and measure the voltage on the output, then the voltage here should be about four volts. Now, I suppose you actually want to see me use it. So here is a battery with a tab. There's actually a couple of points on there where the previous tab was. So this is going to be its second tabbing. And you just press it and a little puff of smoke and it's connected. I'll just do a second set. And now it is firmly connected. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that overall. Um, 
I would have liked it obviously more if this would have worked out of the, out of the box. Um, I knew there were issues with this machine before I bought it, so I can't complain. Honestly, uh, this has been exactly as much worry as uh, as I thought it would be. But uh, it works now. I was a little bit worried that it would never work and that I would have to buy like the more expensive thousand dollar one. But uh, in the end, everything worked out just fine. So uh, see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, don't do anything.